Hello lovelies. Well, we are in, I think it's day 24. I'm losing track of days again, uh, but that's okay. It doesn't matter. Um, you know that, you know by now that uh, I'm doing videos daily anyway. So today it's um, come to my attention about free will and that we are able to ask for help from many, many different beings. But if we don't ask, we don't get. So today I've done another spiritual request and declaration. But I want to talk first about the times that we're in. So this request and declaration is not being done by fear at all. It is purely being put out there uh, because if we don't ask, they cannot get involved to help. So bearing in mind what's going on around the planet now, and there is a battle between the dark side and the light side, if you like, and yes, it is throughout hum humanity, but it also goes beyond that. It, it actually goes through time and space uh, and uh, seeps into uh, some dimensions. So, I mean, the old fashioned way of looking at, at it would be like the satan satanic stuff and the dark and the light and, and all, all of that sort of stuff. And it is, it is that, but it is so much more than that too. Um, now, I believe the light is winning and I also believe that there is so much more going on behind the scenes than what we are seeing. So, like I said before, this is not this request is not done in fear because. I have over the last several months actually have felt now when I get my intuitive nudges, as I call them. I get the feeling and it's kind of a cross between a feeling and a knowing and then I get images. So I have over the last few months and it's been building steadily. Have had feelings and knowings that there are many, many different races and species from all dimensions collecting around the earth watching what's going on right now because just imagine if you're a fly on the wall looking down at, at us all down here and the, practically the whole planet's gone into shutdown now as we know if you've been keeping up on a lot of the information that's been going out the earth is very much enjoying this she is starting to uh well, it's not her clearing up, but our mess is starting to clear up because we're not doing what we were doing. So, for instance, the canals in Venice are starting to clear. The Himalayas are now clear and being seen. The seas are clearing up and so much more. So the earth is actually probably very much liking what's happening right now because she is able to um, transmute a lot of the destruction that us humans have uh, caused on this planet. If you think about it in another way, we're like a lot of parasites that have been munching our way through everything. And of course that has to change. So, um, I have over the last several months intuitive that there are many, many beings collecting around planet Earth. Now, like I said, I start getting visuals. I have really, even now when I look into it, there are crafts all around the planet. And not just in this dimension, but in all dimensions, we're being observed. So,
what I want you to understand is that what's going on with the earth isn't actually just going to affect the earth. It's having a knock-on effect through all timelines, all dimensions, and that we really need the best for all life on earth, the earth itself and all life upon earth. That includes us, of course. And there are many, many interdimensional beings that live on the earth, live in the earth. So it's not just about us. It's about all life on the earth, including all the kingdoms, you know, like the fungi, the uh, plants, animals, insects. So I'm just looking at my notes, that's why I'm looking down. So these are many, many ETs, celestial beings, interdimensional beings, transdimensional beings, are all observing what's going on right now. And it is, like I said before, kind of a battle between the light and the dark but it is through humanity, but it is also through time and space, and it is having an effect on all dimensions. So, as we know, all of us humans have got free will. Now, if we don't do anything about that free will and just carry on as we are, other beings cannot help us. And like I said before, this is not done in fear. This is purely to get everyone on board. So... I have written up this spiritual request and declaration uh, to all the beings that are certainly around the planet and that are watching from so many different dimensions. I mean, that all of the spirit, uh, spirit world are watching, that the um, beings from the higher realms of the spirit world, it's like when I visualise, it's like everyone's looking down around us but it is like the way, all the way around us. That's another thing I wanted to say, that because there's so many craft and interdimensional beings that are actually surrounding the earth right now and watching, many people will start seeing them. So you might start seeing crafts, orbs, energy signatures, especially people that are open, but even people that aren't open yet and are awakening. You might start witnessing things that you haven't perhaps witnessed before because everything that's going on is also creating the veils to subside. And the veils are walls, if you like, in between different dimensions. So we will start seeing a lot more. And, and of course, at the same time, we're awakening and evolving and developing. And anyone who has all of a sudden over the last several weeks thought, my God, my memory's going. It is. And it's because you don't, we're going to a space where we don't need memory anymore. We're actually now being called to completely connect to our intuition and our inner knowing. And once you're completely connected to that, you don't actually need memory because you can tap into it with your higher consciousness and look at anything through time and space that you wanna look at. And that's where we're heading. So that is telepathy, higher consciousness states and a much, much higher frequency. Now, all of humanity that's awakening, and there will, be, there will be many that won't because it's in their path to do so, 
but because they've got free will and haven't gone within and done any of the releasing and finding out of who they truly are on a multi-dimensional level, they might not never awaken and they'll still carry on going through the human journey of lessons, you know, and other things just as part of being a human. But there are many of us that are evolving and there are many of us that are wanting to evolve. So this spiritual request and declaration is for the whole of the earth and all living things upon her. So I'm also going to put this in the comments below so you will have it written out to read through um, and do this declaration and request yourself. If you want the other beings and many, many of them from different dimensions and spirit and everything and the collective, the God source, all everything is being watched upon this earth at the moment. If you want their help, then I would suggest to go through this spiritual request and declaration Again, a bit like the other declaration that I did last night, which was about you staying in your sovereign being and bringing all of your energy back to you. That, if you haven't done that one, definitely worth doing that one. Extremely powerful. But this one is a request for help, if you like, but it's giving permission to those beings from the higher realms to help out with what's going on here on the earth and every living thing on the earth. So I would really encourage you to do this because the more people that do, the more help we will get. And also on an individual level. But that also, of course, each individual that does this creates a collective that's doing it. And when we create a collective, it makes everything so much more powerful. So please, please share this uh, for, to your family and friends, to your or your social media, please, please share this. Let's get this out, out there so everyone can do this. So we give permission to all those beautiful beings that are out there to actually step in and help us. Because like I said, we have free will and if we don't ask, they can't do it. It's against the laws of the cosmic laws of the universe for them to do that unless we ask. So I am now going to read out the spiritual request and declaration. To the celestials, beings from the higher realms of spirit, the God source and the collective, all beings of light and love, the transdimensionals, intergalactics, and all beings throughout time and space, Dimension five and above, who are here for the good of earth, humanity, all living things within and upon earth, the universe and the cosmos. First of all, we ask for forgiveness on behalf of all of humanity through time and space for any wrongdoings that may have caused harm to the earth, the universe, cosmos, multiverse and any other races or beings who may have been affected. We here and now in this time and space of great change throughout the cosmos ask for your help in any way that you see fit to help the earth and all life upon her to evolve in the light and love that we know to be true and just 
with grace and ease. As humans who have been giving fr given free will, we give full permission. I'm going to say that again. As humans who have been given free will, we give full permission. We decree that this request and declaration of truth from our hearts to yours in the pure essence of light. So I can feel that energy going out there. And I can feel that they have received it. So the more of us that do this, I feel the more help we will get on a mass level. The more humans that step up and repeat this declaration, we will end up getting huge help. So I would say to you, you can either do this in like a, um, if you want to do like a ritual type thing um, or uh, get yourself into a good space to do it wherever you are, put in your sacred space at home if you've got a sacred space um, or just read it out. It doesn't, doesn't have to be done in a ritual type thing. It can be just read out and it's, it's literally been written through time and space then. So please, please share. Lots of love from me. I will see you all tomorrow. I have no idea what I'm going to do yet. Um, I, I will just see what happens, what's what I'm guided to do. Um, and lots and lots of love. Please, please share. And if you are new to my channel, please subscribe. Uh, and click the little bell if you want to get notifications that I've put a, another uh, video up. I am doing them every day at the moment. Our internet is quite slow here, so it, sometimes it takes a while to upload. But I am actually doing them every day. And I have promised this. This is my gift to you uh, to get information out there to help the collective of humanity and the earth. And uh, to share spiritual exercises, spiritual upliftment, activations, uh, meditations and, and everything that I'm guided to do. So have a lovely evening and uh, lots of love from me and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye for now. Bye.